Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to today's sub request video where you guys have requested me to review a specific product and for today we have is the Lotus Eco Stay Intensive Serum Foundation. Now this review has been requested by Tapamita Malik so this is for you. So for starters if you are new here, hello, hi and I have an extremely extremely oily skin. I have a lot of pores, bumps, pits, blemishes, name it everything is wrong with my face and also the way how i do foundation review is where i do not use any primers or setting spray just to see how long the product works on its own without any help and i do not add any highlighter because my oily skin is shiny enough without a highlighter so if you have not already then do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon try it next to which they're notified whenever i do upload and now let's jump right into the video so let's quickly go over with the features of the product now it says that it's an ultra fluid weightless and skin enhancing serum foundation it is enriched with bulgarian rose extracts and vitamin e that intensely moisturizes and plumps the skin which is amazing now it gives an ultimate weightless coverage the new luminous formula hydrates the skin it nourishes the skin and has anti-aging benefits which is awesome now it is blendable kind of a serum foundation that blends beautifully into the skin now it comes with a high precision dropper and it is cruelty free as well as 100% vegetarian and preservative free product as well so I picked out the shade Fawn and this is priced at 725 rupees for 20 ml of product. Now this is how the packaging looks like and this is so freaking cute and so is the dropper as well. So the last thing that I want to talk about was the shade range because it sucks big time. I have already done a review of another Lotus foundation where I had voiced out how disappointed I was and the same goes for this specific foundation as well because they have only 5 Five shades like I understand the fact that these are pretty blendable but even the darker shades is not that dark enough and it is very less five shades and it is 2019 so that is a big disappointment and the first con right there is the shade range so now let's finally move to the application of the foundation so I have super zoomed you guys in and on this side of my face I'm going to be using the beauty blender and on this side I'm going to use my foundation brush. I'm just going to shake it up and use like probably half a dropper. Let me see how far this goes. So I forgot to mention I have already prepped my skin like I used the Neutrogena uh, oil free moisturizer so that was applied a long time back. Okay, so this is foundation. This is no foundation. Now I can still clearly see my blemish over here and over here. My mole is visible. My discoloration is visible as well. So this literally feels like a tinted moisturizer probably. Uh, but I don't think it has given a decent coverage with the sponge. Now let me just try with the brush and see how it works Now one good thing is you guys saw the amount of foundation I applied on this side but even then it does not feel very heavy and it is extremely absorbent uh, like it doesn't feel like I applied that amount of foundation like an idiot but it has blended well the coverage is not amazing but it is better than this side with a sponge that I can say so 
Let me add some more on my right side. So the foundation is on and this is how my skin is looking like and it has given a nice luminous glow and that is a little bit scary because I have an extremely oily skin like if you have a dry skin or a normal skin this is amazing and to get this kind of a finish which I do like this finish you have to use a lot of product otherwise this has an extremely sheer coverage it's more like a tinted moisturizer a buildable tinted moisturizer did i mention in the features that this has spf 20 i think i forgot but yeah it has spf 20 so that's good so this foundation looks like it needs a bit of a setting powder or a loose powder so i'm just going to quickly add in some uh, concealer first which is my usual the maybelline age rewind concealer and this is in the number 130 and i'm not taking any excess product it's just whatever that's there in the sponge for the loose powder i'm using the maybelline fit me loose powder in number 20 which is light medium Now powdering the face like this does make my face look extremely light and white. Don't mind that once the oil comes through, which it will, it will come back to a normal color. So the concealer and the loose powder blended seamlessly with the foundation. There was no issue over there at all. And right now I'm going to quickly add in some blush as well as some bronzer and be right back. So the blush and the bronzer is on and this is how the foundation is looking like so far and the time right now is about 1.29 pm, let's say 1.30 and before the first check in let me quickly show you guys how this looks in natural lighting as well. Hey guys and I am back and I am extremely freaking tired because it has been a little over nine and a half hours so the time right now is about 11 12 pm and this is how the foundation is looking like right now and yes right now I do look like an extremely oily greasy ball but then I do not see any caking or separation or anything as such so far so just before my final verdict what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some blotting sheets and remove the excess oil from my face just to see how the foundation looks after having that done and then give the final verdict so here goes a clean sheet So one sheet down. So two full blotting sheets have been thoroughly used and this is how my face is looking like right now. Now I do feel that the product has been removed quite a bit because I see a lot of my blemishes and discoloration very very well. It looks like as though there is almost close to no product on my face. 
So I would recommend to use something like a pressed powder so that it has a little bit of coverage when you're doing a touch up. So coming to the pros and cons, do not mind that I'm going to be reading it off from my phone because I've made points since I am super duper tired. I do not want to miss out on anything. So for the first pro is going to be on the blendability because you guys saw the amount of product I used. So even with that, it blended beautifully into the skin. It gave a very beautiful finish that is another pro as well it was non cakey and it was weightless like I could not feel anything at all it was so light on my skin and then it is also extremely long lasting which is what took me by surprise because I did not expect that whatsoever so this foundation beautifully lasted on me for more than five hours about close to five to six hours without a primer or without using a setting spray so that was amazing and the last pro will be on the spf 20 which is there in this foundation so coming to the cons the first one is to do with the shade range because five shades it is too freaking less so that is the first con the second one is to do with the pricing because 725 rupees i find it to be a bit pricier for 20 ml of product which is pretty less especially when this is the kind of foundation where you will have to use a lot for the kind of finish and the coverage that you saw me having but then if you're going to use something like a tinted moisturizer where you want that sheer kind of a coverage you're okay with that then i think it should be okay but then 20 ml of product it is pretty less for 725 rupees so in my opinion if you have like a clear skin or a dry as well as a normal skin type then this foundation will be a blessing for you even if you have to use it with the sheer coverage that it offers or if you want to build it up to a nice good decent medium coverage it will look beautiful on you but then if you have like scars or any acne or any pimples as such or anything blemishes or hyperpigmentation that is a bit prominent on your face then i would suggest to use a good concealer to cover them and lastly if you have a combination or an oily skin like me then you would have to invest in a good primer but even then i am extremely surprised at the longevity of this foundation on my extremely oily skin so overall i do recommend this foundation because of just because of the longevity of how good the finish looked on my oily greasy ass skin so guys this wraps up today's video i hope this was helpful if it was do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests I'll try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's Nishanayar on Instagram and it's Nishanayar on Twitter as well so until the next time take care bye